Laba moments here. Hello and welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, Karibu Sana. So in this video, I'll show you how to design a rate card using Canva, also known as a media kit. So in Kenya, we know it as a rate card. In case you've not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so to get notified whenever I make a new upload. Also, don't forget to give this video a like and leave me a comment down below on what you think about this content and what you'd love to see in the next video let's dive in so again open your canva.com and by now if you are an avid consumer of my content you know that i love canva.com which again like i always say it's a popular and also a powerful graphic design tool so we will use it to create or rather to design a red card or a media kit so at the top here on the search let's type and look for media kit so there are a couple of templates which you can take advantage of let's begin with a blank canvas so we can be able to select whichever template we feel appeals to us let's um, have a look at this let's apply all and then let's increase the zoom so that we be able to see so this is a media kit for somebody who's a travel and a lifestyle blogger and uh, they talk about their blog content and metrics and analytics and how you can be able to reach them so you can begin with this and build our rate card from from there so this is how it looks this is the first page and this is the second page so basically a rate card is like a digital influencers cv or resume which you would send to a brand that maybe would like you to market for them their products or their services on your youtube channel or on your social media pages like probably instagram and twitter etc so it is important to have an appealing rate card or media kit which you can easily edit and send to a brand so let's begin to edit this one so to begin with we will change a couple of things at the top here we will give a name light bulb moment then can describe what our channel is all about then if you have a website of course you put the details of your website so let's say probably our website is lightbulbmoment.com and the email we can say is info at so yeah then we put our email address info at lightbulbmoments.com then we can also change this image maybe to fit um our content so let's go and look for, for an image so of course we'll go to on photos so click on photos then let's look for images on computers so let's drag this there we don't like how it looks we can keep dragging until we get something that we love and of course when you're using a free account of canva be careful not to use images with a pro icon because these are paid for images but um canva is very generous because if you want to use an image you can easily pay for it and it's very affordable for example this image goes for um one dollar so yeah so that is one dollar if you do not have a paid for account if you want to change the colors here maybe to fit your color scheme light bulb moments you can be able to do so let's give it our a green look yeah i think it looks good and then we can maybe describe give details about what you do in your channel or what your brand is all about or if it's about yourself so just put whatever you want so about yourself and then of course you put details i am um uh dash 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 i create content on xyz i have built a record of abc i have won awards on one two three i was top of on xyz chart etc so just a brief description of who you are what you uh, the kind of content you create and maybe a mention of your achievements etc and then your metrics your metrics this is where you need to pay a lot of attention to so under your metrics and analytics it is important to mention uh, the number of fans you have on facebook is it 8 million on your twitter the number of followers you have on instagram on youtube if you have 3 million subscribers pinterest if you don't have anything if you don't have an account on pinterest feel free to delete 
delete that and then mention your monthly page views on on youtube views on youtube you can say it's 900k monthly visits on instagram average time on youtube on your videos so basically you can use your youtube studio to check some of these numbers and then you can be able to fill them in accordingly so probably if on monthly views if it's more than 900k or it's a range you can say maybe nine plus k or seven if the watch time is more you can say seven plus minutes and then leave your of course your your contact details on how that particular brand can be able to reach you so ensure to enter your phone number um if you have an office line a physical office line uh, ensure to put that in or if you have a personal assistant line or your manager you can be able to specify that otherwise just leave what you have your email address ensure to put that light bulb moments ke at gmail.com details of your website if you have one don't forget to put that www.lightbulbmoments.com then social media at lightbulbmoment ke your mailing address if you have any just put the details there also you might want to add uh, maybe the services you provide so you can easily be able to do that by clicking here add a new page so let's click on add a new page alternatively if you don't want to add a new page and you can be able to add details to it another better way to do this let's delete this and duplicate this page so that we don't have to edit and add these graphics again so here we can edit at the top here and say services offered or services that you provide we can begin writing a post instagram post so probably you want to give details of how you charge on instagram what you charge on YouTube what you charge where else on Twitter so we'll edit the details for each so probably on Instagram you can specify let's delete this so you can specify on Instagram one post let's say one one dedicated post on one dedicated post on your Instagram page page and maybe you will mention brand hash tags you can specify with with mention of brand hashtags brand website link of course the product reviews if you are reviewing probably maybe a house or a makeup uh, product so you will put the details of your experience when you're reviewing it product reviews and uh, then of course go ahead and specify that you would want the brand to brand to provide the product which means uh, you will not buy the product yourself brand to provide product etc etc so that's one again on instagram you can uh, say one uh, post one uh, story for of uh, one story uh, say a story video of say 30 seconds where you'd you will of course what mention brand name social media pages product review etc then what else would you do on social media maybe a dedicated video post on your wall video post on your wall so this means it would stay here forever and uh, they can be able to use you can say you'll mention of course again the brand let's just copy this with mentions of brand hashtags and product reviews brand can reuse the video and mention or tag you and tag tag me so so now that you've demarcated the types of services that you would give on uh, instagram you can go ahead and put the cost so for this you would charge what so i'll put it in kenya shillings but you can go ahead and put it in dollars but say for this i would charge 300k again the costing of course is based on your following so i can say for this i would charge 100k and for this i would charge 400 a dedicated one minute video post yeah so you go ahead and also do the same for youtube and explain what you would do on youtube mention brand product for 30 seconds at the beginning 
of a vlog and then go ahead and put the cost for that so probably if you have a larger following here you charge 400,000 and ensure not to have uh, grammar errors because it should be as professional as possible so and then on twitter again you'd say you'd tweet how many times two tweets per week probably or per day on mentioning the brand and product product or service then you cost it at um, probably what 100k so yeah so that's how you would uh, design of course there are more things you can put under each but basically this is it that's how you would be able to design your rate card your give your metrics or your analytics and again you can for youtube you can be able to get these details on youtube studio how that brand can reach you and the services that you offer etc et and of course you can be able to edit it further so let's change this image here let's go to again under photos click on photos and let's look for something we can add here again you can also upload your own personal photos which you can be able to make use of let's go under photos so i think that looks good so if you like what you see you can view it in full screen so these are first page that's the name labor moments we create content on, on education technology that website and that's our email and next page about what we do and the metric and how we can be reached and then as the services that we offer and how much we charge etc etc so this is just an example there are better ways of designing these you can even decide to demarcate each section nicely with these elements under elements you'll see lines you can be able to drag and drop on here just to make your content look um, nice yeah also you can change a few things here like this color just to ensure that everything is uniform yeah and that's about it so when you're done at the top here there's this um download option here so just click on download and then you can download a pdf copy so let's open it so this is a pdf document which you can be able to present to a brand or when you're going for maybe a meeting with a certain brand you can print this file it nicely and uh, present this to that uh, potential client so i hope that you've learned something in case you've not subscribed please hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment down below on what you'd like to see next on my channel so thank you for watching till the end all the best creating your red card or your media kit bye bye